Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Here we talk about prepping and hydroponics and being self-sufficient, raising animals, meeting other homesteaders, and uh, enjoying life and enforcing our faith. And uh, one thing that's definitely a terrible thing to have happen is uh, I went to the wrong car actually. I uh, I had to go to UPS, take some uh, poopy bags to uh, be shipped to Amazon, and which happened to be by the Fred Myers, which happens to be by the plant area. And they had them all outside, it was beautiful. So it's like, all right, I did my thing at UPS, went over there, <laughs> not a good thing to do, because, uh, I ended up buying uh, some more plants. So I bought two types of raspberries and one more blueberry back there to go into my, what we call Berry Island. It just never stops. It's like, I couldn't resist. It was like a drug. So got three more plants to take care of. I'm not gonna do that right now yet. We still got to do our chores. Um, I do want to let you know that, uh, well, actually, when you see this video, it's already going to be launched, but I have a beautiful, beautiful video of uh, um, Dragonfly Farms with Sherry and I got the chance to go visit the animals and all their, uh, how they milk cows and feed baby cows, bottle milking, it's adorable rabbits. Anyway, it was a really neat video. So if you haven't seen it yet, I go check it out. Uh, it was very cute. And a lot of bucket list things are done. There's things in life that you just think you should try once in a while. One is, have you ever milked a cow? Have you ever bottle fed a baby calf? Or held a baby bunny? Uh, yeah, there are simple things in life. But they're adorable and very heartwarming. So anyway, guys. Let's go check on the baby chickens in the, what we call the barn area of our shop. All right, checking on the babies here. They're all looking real good. Got to give them some more food because they're little piggies. But yeah, very impressive. The uh, Rhode Island Red chickens are doing great. So very happy with that. So let me get them fed and move on to our other projects. All right, guys. Get the little babies new water, new food. They're all set, they're doing so good. So uh, I'm gonna just leave them alone and uh, go look at some of my experiments. Now when I show you my experiments, I don't look at them ahead of time. So what you see is what I see. So this is day two, well actually it's the first day of uh, putting a strawberry starter on my NFT system and uh, uh, haven't had a whole luck with the NFT with the spinach um, and uh, I had a little trouble last year too and uh, but it doesn't break my heart too bad because we're killing it in all the other areas but uh, yeah just put this little guy right here he's still alive Anyway, we'll see how he does, but it'd be really cool if I could get strawberries loaded on this NFT. And uh, we'll see. So, so far so good there. Spinach hasn't really taken off out here. I got a feeling it has to do with temperatures. Um, but yeah, let's uh, look at the other experiment. All right, guys. So uh, my next experiment is a uh, strawberry on the floating rafts right here. And uh, by the way, I usually keep a brush in here to scrape, uh, uh, rinse off the top of these uh, floating rafts because of the algae. So haven't done that yet this year. But so far, um, the little strawberry is still alive, still responding okay. So, so far so good. Uh, all the other plants are looking good. Need to do a little harvest on some of these uh, lettuces. By the end of the weekend, I'll have tons of 
spinach again it's all good and I'm gonna take the tops off of a couple of these uh, tomatoes for the day then at nighttime we put the tops back on we do have a cold day coming tomorrow so we got to wrap it up in here and make sure it's as warm as we can keep it for the uh, tomatoes all right so we uh, exposed a couple of plants here so we get some regular sunlight and I'll probably start doing the process with the other ones that are newer um, as we go but these ones have been in the longest so got a fan turn on temperature in here right now is 84 degrees we'll crack the door a little bit get some cooler air in here and uh move on to the chickens and pigs all right so we uh rinsed out their water refilled the chicken uh, feed for them chickens are in good shape let's take a look at the uh towers since we just loaded some stuff in them uh it hasn't happened yet but at noon the water will run for well, it's nutrients for six minutes and remember we're using coconut core not not regular soil in these towers so coconut core is like a sponge it'll hold the moisture and uh let's see they don't look like they're freaking out uh yeah still moist it's holding its uh liquid um and the timer won't be going off for another hour and a half so uh yeah we'll check on it make sure it ran uh tank's got nutrients in it we're going to add some of those new uh, plants i showed you at the beginning of the video uh in the what we call berry island and uh this weekend we're looking we're going to come in here and weed this thing it kind of got out of control so uh i got some real squeaky pigs out here and uh I think they're ready to be fed. I see one's the boys are chilling out, laying down. Hey biggies! Hi guys! Getting hungry? That would be a yes. And the mamas are very vocal over here. Alright guys, I'm gonna get them fed and tie in with you after I'm done. Alright guys. Got the boys all fed, filling their water up because you know them, they dump it out. And I found all the bowls are all over the place. Girls are all fed. Their water's okay, they could use the top off. And then we're gonna go to the above ground garden and go check the strawberries I planted there. Yeah, the last thing we're checking on that, that's a new project is we added in some uh, new strawberries in here. The new ones are uh, here 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 uh kind of spread out so far they're looking like they're responding okay same over here put a couple in here and uh look like they're responding okay uh the rest of the planters got a little bit of lettuce coming up here spinach at the ends doing well potatoes are starting to come out of the ground Lots of radishes coming. Carrots are working their way in. So, uh, yeah, a couple of successes, a couple of eh, but uh, so far so good. So, uh, yeah, let's move on. Hello everyone, it's the next day. And the first question we have for today is, is it a sparkling day in Central Oregon? And the answer is, no not quite still a windy day again we had uh we have to be kind of careful We're, we got freezing temperatures last night and freezing temperatures tomorrow well tonight <sighs> and uh we gotta really watch our plants and stuff we do have sunshine but super windy again a little bit on the cold side so uh yeah not quite a sparkling day but it, it's a nice day so, of course, first thing we're gonna do is do the rounds. And today, <coughs> I uh, need to make sure and we finish off the uh, uh, equipment I need to uh, start getting the water system into the 
new field. So I've ordered my uh, drip tape uh, and some fittings for that. And I'm doing the drip tape about a thousand feet with six inch holes between each uh, uh, spacing, basically, to uh, release water into the gardens and stuff. <clears throat> Second, uh, I have to get some, I think it's half inch pipe. Was it quarter inch? That's half inch pipe, uh, which um, uh, will be used for sending water to the certain areas of that field. And then I gotta make sure I have all the fittings I need for that too. So I'm gonna buy those directly at Home Depot. Everything else I ordered online. So uh, yeah, uh, so we already got well, about $400 involved in the watering system for the new fields, but it will be worth it. And uh, <laughs> Belle's chasing a bird, but she's chasing its shadow. So I gotta check in the baby chickens in here real quick and then move on. Well, I checked in the little babies. They're down there. And uh, they're doing great. They eat a lot. So, uh, yeah, I just uh, got them fed, gave them some new water. I'm gonna close this, make sure we uh, don't have a draft through here. And uh, yeah, they're doing great. And uh, since it's been cold out, I'm going to keep uh, everything cinched up in the greenhouse today. One thing I'm learning about greenhouses is you got to manage it every day and call your shots. Do you open it up? Do you turn on the fans? Uh, you really got to pay attention to the weather. So as the summer's coming, or if it ever comes, uh, I'm finding myself watching the weather really close, watching my temperatures, and it tells me what I need to do in my greenhouse every day. So uh, all the hydroponics look wonderful. My little experiment with the outside NFT with the strawberry and the one strawberry right here. Uh, both seem to be going all right. So that's good. Uh, not gonna take the covers off the tomatoes today. I wanna keep them warm. And uh, little peas are working their way up the strings. Probably need to add one more. The little snap peas haven't started reaching up too much yet, but they look healthy. So yeah, let's move on to taking care of the piggies. Before I go out in the windy temperature, I wanted to remind you, uh, come check out our podcast tonight on Thursdays. Um, it's at 6 p.m. every Thursday. We have uh, Dale Wiley, Amy from uh, Dragonfly Farms, and myself. And uh, got uh, interesting subjects that pertain to people our age and uh, younger generations talking about homesteading, self-sufficiency, and, and uh, uh, raising our kids and family, and uh, basically uh, Americana stuff. So join us if you would, and uh, if you missed the show, still can watch it, <clears throat> and in comments, make sure you leave comments and tell us about things you'd like us to talk about, or if you have any questions you'd like us to answer. So anyway guys, off to the piggies. Good me, little girl. Where's Cinder? Hi, Cinder. Come here. What are you doing? Some good girls? All right, guys, you ready to go see your piggies? Want to go check the piggies? Let's go. Well, the piggies are happy to see us come up. They're all coming out of their houses. And uh, one of the reasons why we take you in the routines here is to give you a realistic look at uh, having a homestead and having animals. Uh, one of the subjects we're talking about in the podcast is staying home and having purpose and accountability. And uh, uh, one thing I've learned in life is uh, when you don't have responsibilities and you don't have things, then you're constantly looking for entertainment. And uh, when you have a homestead and responsibilities and animals that depend on you, Suddenly you're finding yourself at home more and you're enjoying it. There's a lot of fulfillment in taking care of animals in a homestead and raising your own food. And suddenly you realize you don't have to go to the casino. You don't have to go watch a movie. You don't have to always go out for dinner. You enjoy cooking at home because you're making a wonderful food and healthy food. And uh, you'll find your life will change 
and your expenses will go down as far as trying to always entertain yourselves, entertain the kids, stuff like that. Well, your homestead will fill your days every day and those days you don't feel super motivated, it's nice to have this accountability to keep you moving. So, I always stop and talk, talk in the camera when I get to the girls and they're all going, would you just go get our food? So, that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta shut down the fences, get scoops of food, and uh, check in the boys, and then uh, go on with all the other projects today. All right, checking out on the boys. Hi, boys. How are you? Shut off their fence. How are you guys? You guys hungry? Hey, your bulls aren't too far away today. So I can actually, I don't have to go on a search. Sometimes they're in a house, sometimes they're under a tree, some way, times they're way in the back, but today they're right here. So, all right, let's get everybody fed. Well, the piggies are all fed, and uh, the girls are fed up there too. Um, I'm filling their water. I'm gonna go up and fill their water with nice fresh water, and they're good for the day. And then we'll go check the above ground gardens real quick. Yeah, there's uh, two little things I wanted to mention with our Idaho pasture pigs, is we chose to use the premier fencing, and uh, this worked really well. The pigs never challenge it. And I also want to talk about the energizers. These energizers I got with each set of uh, fences here um, uh, have been performing really well. In the winter, I only had to charge them once in a while because of lack of light. In the summer, they get all dusty and dirty, all that stuff. I haven't had to charge them at all. So as long as I can get them into the sun, I have not had to put a charger on these. They've been recharging themselves just fine. So yeah, very happy with the Premier fencing. Very happy with the, this is the Model 60. I've got two of them. I've got to get one more for the birds when we start putting them in the chicken shop. But yeah, they've been performing very well. So I stopped by the growing towers really quick. Well, mind you, we loaded one of the towers with strawberries. They, uh, seem to be holding up all right the water system doesn't go off till 20 minutes from now and uh we'll be checking to make sure that's working right i dropped it down to five minutes i had it at six minutes and uh i was using more uh nutrients than i wanted to i like to try to get two days i like to get up actually up to three days of uh, nutrients to work on the towers before I have to refill it. Uh, Sherry and I are probably gonna work on weeding. Uh, it's kind of snuck up on us. And I need to plant some new raspberries and blueberries, but not until we get by tomorrow, uh, tonight and tomorrow's cold night uh, mornings. After that, we'll go hog wild. Like I said, we gotta watch our temperatures really close in May. Uh, June is typically when we start growing around here. Uh, we have a mountain over here called Black, top, um, Black Butte, and it always has snow on the top. And they always say when that snow's gone, that's when you can cut loose. Uh, we're trying to get some stuff going before then with the, using the greenhouse. So uh, yeah, so far so good on the towers. I got more strawberries coming. They may be here tomorrow, today or tomorrow. I ordered 125. So uh, it takes 25 plants for each one of those towers. And I got some that didn't make it in the uh, above ground uh, gardens up here. And uh, so, by the way, last night we covered the plants, uh, the strawberries uh, for the next few days till our weather warms up. And uh, as soon as it, probably Saturday, I've got to replant this guy. Nothing took. Um, I direct seeded some turnips and broccoli. No take. Uh, I'm starting to see a little bit of lettuce. Uh, I replanted a couple of re -let uh, lettuces here uh, in the dead spots. 
What I want is a carpet of uh, lettuce in here. Uh, here, these are radishes. They're performing fine. Uh, carrots are coming up. That's a slow going process for carrots. Happy with that. Uh, potatoes, all are coming up. I got a couple of weak spots over here. I'm hoping I will see something emerge in this area soon. Uh, but uh, nothing yet. But so far I am getting potatoes. The little spinaches are taking just great. I do have a couple extra potatoes over here. Um, and last but not least that we can see is all the peas are doing all right. A couple of bare spots in here, but uh, I'm happy. Half is snap peas, half is regular peas. And last but not least, uh, I still gotta finish that last part of the, of the uh, rotor tilling up here. Uh, looks like I have maybe two swipes, maybe th a third one, and uh, we'll get this all churned up. Cleaned up, Sherry's got half of this raked out. We gotta measure out our uh, rows and we're not planning till June. Uh, the ground's gotta be warmer. But uh, I'm looking forward, this is gonna be beautiful. In the meantime, it's time to start thinking about the watering system. So uh, like I told you before, I've got the watering systems, drip tape, uh, fittings, all that stuff coming. And I do always try to give you the idea of cost. Uh, and so, yeah, it's going to be about $400, $425 for all the watering I need for all these areas here to make sure, and it'll be on our automatic waters so I don't have to do it by hand. Right now I'm doing the above grounds by hand and as soon as I get the new system in, that's, I don't have to do that anymore. So, yeah, it's coming along. But the weather is not cooperating. It's windy and cold today. And the big thing is protecting the plants. I may have mentioned to, to you before, but our pond is high on the list of round to it. Uh, we're going to replace the pump in here. It's, it's shot. Drain this thing. It's going to be messy. And uh, we have leaks in the liner. And we're going to reseal seal the liners. Uh, I haven't seen the second fish. I think I lost both of our fish. And, uh, but I don't want to put any new fish in here until we get this drained out, cleaned out, uh, seal up the liners. And also we're going after some of these roots in the grass. I have a electric cutter. I don't, can't remember the right name for it, but we have a couple of roots that have been going across the uh, lawn here. We're going to cut them out. And we know we had some roots come into the uh, pond, which has penetrated the liner, and we've got to fix that. So yeah, it's going to be a, a nasty and hard pro product, but it'd be really nice to get this not losing so much water. So uh, get the waterfall running really good again. And uh, the motor, I think, has been in there for years, the pump. I think it's a half horsepower motor and it definitely needs to be replaced and we're willing we're definitely happy to do it we just got to be committed we want warm wa temperatures because that water is cold and uh, it's gonna be cold and muddy and the whole works so yeah and we'll start cleaning our beds out and uh, it's greening up in here if you guys remember so uh, yeah spring is showing up but it's really taking its time well, it's a little later in the day. Been working a lot on graphics and uh, video stuff, intros, all kinds of fun stuff like that. But before I end this video, I want to talk about faith a little bit and abundance. And uh, I don't know I didn't really think much about that much till last year, but uh, as of last year and so. Sherry and I have done a little bit more to get a little bit more in alignment with our faith. Uh, we uh, both got, I, I've already been baptized once, but I reaffirmed and Sherry got baptized and she's been studying a lot. 
we've been uh, following a lot of uh, different leaders and uh, we uh, joined the church but we don't go to it that often we uh, typically will uh, do the online version of it um, and uh, yeah and then been working hard to be kind of good peoples well kind of to be good peoples uh, bringing basically bringing uh, uh, God into our house and and opening up saying when you walk in this door these doors are wide open and uh, anyway without really going to the depth of all the things I don't want this to be like a religious thing but I want to talk about abundance so one of the things is is once you are serving well uh, pr um, praying and talking uh, to the Lord and and uh, reaffirming your faith uh, uh, reducing your sins <laughs> trying to eliminate them and uh, things like that um, working hard and uh, appreciating what you have and, uh, and being grateful uh, that's the most like everything here I'm grateful for how it got into our laps one way or another and since then I get to the point our abundance has been overwhelming whether it's food um, successes um, friendships business um, uh, and I say in, uh, wealth but I'm not talking about money um, we're happy to be able to make ends meet and move forward with things uh, with the resources we have and we're just so grateful for that and all I can say is I wish I could have the magic silver tongue to tell you how much abundance this homestead has given us and our life lately since we've uh, opened our hearts and, and mind and, and uh, uh, renewed our, 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 our faith and made it, make it stronger every day um, how much abundance comes along with that and, and, and it's written that that will happen and uh, you know we also try to make sure that we uh, um, support our Sabbath now we celebrate sa uh, Sabbath on Saturdays um, that doesn't mean you just totally shut down guys um, you got to take care of your animals and your homestead and things like that but in back of our mind that day is a day that is a day of rest but it's also the day of uh, um, supporting uh, God's um, uh, six days of creating a uh, creating of creation and so it's the seventh day is the day that we are in gratefulness for uh, all that he's done for us so that's really it's a celebration and so that's how we look at it so it's always in the back of our head especially on Saturday it's Friday night to Saturday no we're not <laughs> we're not Jewish it's just uh, we like to follow the, the Ten Commandments which before they were changed by the Catholic Church and things like that so um, uh, we try to recognize it now we also will recognize it with other people on Sundays but in our hearts Saturday is the day that we celebrate Sabbath so uh, anyway that's I don't want this isn't to be I don't want to scare people off I just want you to know that faith is a big part of our homestead and with that I can tell you that the abundance is amazing and all it took is hard work uh, dedication being grateful working with community uh, working the land uh, knowing that we have everything we want in this earth to survive we just got to uh, embrace it and trying to be natural, trying to grow wholesome food um, and be better people. All that will just keep your cup will overrun it. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Um, uh, it's been a busy day, couple of days. The weekend's coming up. We got some major projects coming up 
Yeah, a lot of hard work coming up. We're waiting for the weather improved to do a couple, a little bit more planting. And uh, yeah, lots of excitement. So guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Discover your faith, study your faith, bring it in best you can, and uh, one step at a time. Um, it's different for everyone. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.